Hi, Jorge. Hi, Alfonso. In this chapter, we will analyze the good and service market in the short run, and we will obtain the IS curve. Do you remember what was the equilibrium condition in the good market in an economy? Sure. Economy was in equilibrium when production was equal to demand. And we have this in this equation, we can see it. Any change in consumption, in investment, in taxes or in expenditure will change demand and also will change production. Do you know what, Jorge? We need to make some small changes in the previous equation. Really? Yes. Do you know what will happen with the investment if we modify the interest rate or the income of the people? So, if interest rates increase, then it will be more expensive for companies to invest. So there will be a reverse relationship between interest rates and investments. On the other side, if income increases, people will buy more. And if they buy more, companies will be more willing to invest more for producing more. In this case, we see a direct relationship between income and investment. In this case, the impact of income of our investment will be positive. So, if I understand you correctly, investment depends positively on income and negatively on interest rate. We can summarize that on the following equation. Taking into account the investment equation that we have just deduced, we can rewrite the equilibrium condition for the good market as follows. This equation reflects that given an interest rate, if income or output increases, people will consume more and companies will invest more. So demand will increase and the same will happen with production. Am I right? Yes, you're right. And we can see this in the following graph. In this graph, we can see that as demand increases, output increases and we see that we can reach the equilibrium in point A. OK, now I understand it better. But what will happen with the demand and the production of the country if the interest rate increases? That is quite interesting. If interest rates increase, then investment of companies will drop. That will mean a reduction on demand, and ultimately it will mean a reduction in production. In the following graph, we will see that as interest rates go up, then demand will go down. This will move the equilibrium point from A to A prime, which at the same time will change the production to a lower level. So, equilibrium in the good market means that an increase in the interest rate would generate a reduction in the output. We can represent it as follows. The IS curve is the function that represents the relation between the interest rates and the production that generates equilibrium in the good market. At any point of the IS curve, uh, we can see that demand is equal to production and also investment is equal to saving. We can summarize that in the two following equations. So, the IS curve is not a fixed function. It can shift to the right or the, or the left. Really? Which variable may affect the IS curve? There are many variables that can make a difference because investment, consumption on the private side, but also in the government side, taxes and expenditure of, of the government. Could you give me an example, please? Let's suppose that the government increased the income taxes. What is going to happen with the IS curve? That's interesting because if we kept constant interest rates, what will happen if, if government increases taxes, then people will have less money to spend. This will also affect production, because companies will have less business. So, an increase in taxes would generate a shift of the IS curve to the left, as we can see in the graph. Equilibrium in the good market means that if we increase the interest rate, the production would diminish. The demand would diminish, 
generating a decrement of the IS or a, a movement of the IS to the left in several situations. For instance, an increment of taxes, a reduction of public expenditure or a diminishing of consumption or investment. And now, you should answer the test of this section. Remember, you can do it just one time and the grades will be part of your final marks.